So a Muslim does the translation of wife beating and because the Muslim here condemned wife beating as satanic but didn't know that his Quran teaches wife beating suddenly he's trying to obfuscate so let me ask you directly is wife beating satanic? Wife beating is wrong so is the Quran wrong for encouraging you to beat your wife? There you go! I think no, it's not! I want to talk about the Pope's Christmas message and the challenge that it lays upon Catholics to condemn the Quran. Too many of our Catholic brothers and sisters like to make excuses for Islam and try to propagate and push an idea of all religions being the same, of all religions leading to the same place, of all religions being on the same path. And many Catholics buy into this by talking about the common humanity that we all share, that we are all pilgrims of faith, and the lines that delineate the differences between Christianity and Islam are whitewashed for the sake of propagating some kind of universalist attitudes towards religion. And I want to say that this is not true of all Catholics, but it is true of too many Catholics. And I want to pick up on what the Pope in Rome said in his Christmas sermon. And I'm going to be reading from the New York Times titled, The Pope Says the High Number of Domestic Violence Cases is Almost Satanic. The article reads, Rome, Pope Francis speaking on primetime television programs said, that there was something almost satanic about the high number of cases of women who have been victims of domestic violence. The Pope made the comments during the show broadcast on Sunday on Canal 5, Italy's top private channel called Francis and the Invisibles. That was intended to put a spotlight on people who were struggling in different ways. It featured three women and a man who met with the Pope to talk about various issues and to ask for advice. Francis was speaking to an Italian woman named Giovanna, a victim of domestic violence who had left her abusive relationship and found herself without a job and homeless with her four children because of the coronavirus. He urged her to be strong and said, the number of women who are beaten, abused in their homes, even by their husbands, is very, very high, Francis said on Sunday night. The problem is that, for me, it is almost satanic because it is taking advantage of the weakness of those who cannot defend themselves, can only block the blows. It is humiliating, very humiliating. So the Holy Father of Rome condemns domestic violence and we as Christians must recognize that domestic violence against women does happen in the church. And we must do more to defend women who are being beaten and abused. And that might mean reporting their abusers to the police or in some circumstances maybe taking those men around the back of the sheds and teaching them a lesson. But women cannot be left to be abused by men physically or emotionally. They are the weaker sex. That has been shown conclusively 
by the abuse of women in another way of allowing transgender men to enter into women's sports and demonstrate conclusively that your average male athlete is still stronger than your best female athlete. That's why we don't put women boxers and men boxers in the same ring. Or women MMA fighters and male MMA fighters in the same ring. It's why we don't put our Premier League footballers who are men against our best female football teams or our best male athleticists against our best female athletics. Why? Because men are demonstrably stronger than women pound for pound and measure for measure. So the Holy Father in Rome was right to condemn the abuse of women as satanic. And any Christian man who beats his wife is more a disciple of Satan than he is a disciple of Jesus Christ. Especially when the apostles said that a man should love his wife as Christ loves the church. Every Christian man knows that verse. And Christ did not beat the church. He does not punish the church with physical abuses. Christ gave his life for the church. Now I want to ask you those who are listening, do you agree with me that beating women is satanic and evil? Raise your hand please. So we've got one person willing, two, three, four, five, six people that are willing to condemn wife beating as satanic. Therefore, it follows logically that if this book, the Quran, teaches wife beating, then this book also is satanic. And I will show you that the Quran teaches wife beating. In Surah 4, Ayah 34, we read, as to those women on whose part you fear disloyalty and in conduct, admonish them, next refuse to share their beds, and finally spank them. Now the language is deliberately diluted, but if you go and compare it to other translations, a better translation of the word is beat them. The Quran is teaching men to beat women. I just read it. I just read it. Yes, brother. We look at diff Now he asks a question, how do we know? We know because we have over 106 different translations of the Arabic Quran into English. And many of them use the word beat. Now those people that did the translating know the Arabic. Now furthermore, let us look at the Hadiths. So a Muslim does the translation of wife beating and because the Muslim here condemned wife beating as satanic but didn't know that his Quran teaches wife beating, suddenly he's trying to obfuscate. So let me ask you directly, is wife beating satanic? Wife beating is wrong. So is the Quran wrong for encouraging you to beat your wife? There you go. No, it's not. So it's wrong to beat your wives, but the Quran is not wrong to say beat your wives. That's the problem that Islam leads you to. It is a problem that we Christians do not have. No. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the hadiths. I'm going to read from a hadith. The hadiths are used by Muslims to interpret their Quran. 
And I want to be clear, ladies and gentlemen, why I'm talking about this. I am talking about this because we are taught in our culture that all religions are the same, they all teach the same, they all are the same. But the reality is far from the truth. Christians do not have an injunction in the New Testament to beat our wives. We are told to honour them and love them as our own bodies, as Christ loved his church. And the Pope recently condemned wife beating as satanic. And when you ask Muslims, is wife beating wrong? Many of them will say yes, until you point out to them that their Quran commands you to beat your wives if you suspect, listen to those words, if you suspect disloyalty on their part, so you don't even need proof. You just need the suspicion. So, let's just read. So, Riyatha, I'm going to read from a hadith. Sahih al-Bukhari 5825. Riyatha divorced his wife, whereupon Abu Rahman bin Az Zubair al Qurayzi married her. Aisha said that the lady came wearing a green veil and complained to her, Aisha, of her husband and showed her a green spot on her skin caused by beating. So, a Muslim man had beaten his Muslim wife so badly that her skin had turned green. And he, this woman had complained to the wife of the Prophet about this abuse. So this would be a great opportunity for that so-called blessing to all mankind to condemn wife beating Let's see if that's what he does. The story continues. It was the habit of the Muslim ladies to support each other. I wonder why they needed to support each other. So when Allah's messenger came, Aisha said, I have not seen any woman suffering as much as the believing women. So this was a common occurrence. It was seen by Aisha so much that she compared it to the pagan women and said that they suffered less. And yet, and yet, Muhammad was there amongst them. So he clearly was not tackling the problem. The story continues. She said, Luke, her skin pointing to the complainant, is greener than her clothes. So this Muslim man had beaten this Muslim woman and her skin had turned greener than her clothes. Take the story continues. When Abdurrahman heard that his wife had gone to the Prophet, he came with his two sons and another wife. She said, by Allah, I have done no wrong to him, but he is impotent and is useless to me as this, holding and showing the fringe of her garment. Abdurrahman said, by Allah, O oh Allah's messenger, she has told a lie. I am very strong and can satisfy her but she is disobedient and wants to go back to Riyatha. Allah's messenger said, now this is his chance. This is the chance of Muhammad to condemn wife beating. He has the example. He has seen the proof. He has heard the report. 
He understands the reasons why. Here is the chance for Mohammed to say beating your wives is wrong. Let's see what happens. So then Mohammed said, sorry then Mohammed saw the two boys with Abdur Rahman and asked, are these your sons? On that Abdur Rahman said yes. And then the Prophet said, you claim what you claim. But by Allah, these boys resemble him as a crow resembles a crow. So no condemnation of wife beating. None. None whatsoever. It gets worse, ladies and gentlemen. When you look up Sunnah.com and you type in the words wife beating and see what kind of hadiths come up. So I'm just going to type into Sunnah.com, which is an Islamic website, wife beating. We read in Sunan Abi Dawood that the Prophet said, a man will not be asked as to why he beat his wife. So did you hear that? On the day of judgment, Allah will not even ask the man as to why he beat his wife. Whether it was just or unjust, whether it was right or wrong. Another hadith, the prophet forbade laughing at a person who passes wind and said, how does any, any one of you beat his wife as he beats the stallion camel and then he may embrace or sleep with her. And Hisham said, as he beats his slave. So wife beating is completely accepted by Muhammad. So the Pope has said that Muhammad's teaching is satanic. Another hadith reads, in Mishkat al Masabi 3260. But do not beat your wife as you would beat your young slave girl. So, in other words, you can beat your wife, but you beat your young slave girl harder than you beat your wife. No! The Muslim men don't like to hear what their prophet is telling them. But I think it might be of interest to Muslim women to know that your prophet sanctions beating your wives. By contrast, Jesus said, do unto others as you would have done unto you. So if you don't want to be abused, you don't abuse. The moral teachings of Jesus are superior to the teachings of Muhammad. Why do we pretend that Islam and Christianity are equal religions that teach the same thing? In this country, beating your wives is illegal. So that means the state condemns Sharia law. So why do our politicians obfuscate on the evils of Islam? Another hadith. Let's read another one. Muwatta Malik. It reads this. My wife went to her and suckled her. When I went to the girl, my wife told me to watch out because she had suckled her. What? Umar told him to beat his wife. Striker. So the companion of the prophet instructs another Muslim to beat his wife and to go to his slave girl because kinship is by suckling, was only by suckling the young. 
so Islam teaches domestic violence against women. No, ladies and all you men, all you men, I want you to answer. Do you condemn domestic violence against women? Yes. Have some balls. Yes or no? Yes. yes. No, I, I feel compelled to not say anything. This is the thing to. Only the pagan at the back is someone who supports wife beating. Christians! 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 There is a clear difference between the teachings of Islam and the teachings of Christianity. Christianity teaches us to honor our wives and to love them as Christ loves the church. That means to live sacrificially. But Islam teaches domestic violence against women, your wives and your slave girls. It is time that the bishops and priests of the church stop ignoring the differences between Islam and Christianity. It is time that politicians and social commentators stop ignoring the differences between Islam and Christianity. And it is time for every Muslim who believes that domestic violence against women is wrong to stop following Muhammad, that retrobate and backward moral teacher and to start following Jesus Christ who taught do unto others as you would have done unto you. Thank you.